Frankie Speed Shop. Well, I've got 
crime, but like I said, it's fucking, this is amazing stuff. I'm blown away. Okay. Right, so that's our time for now. We've got our adhesion promoter on there. And we can... <laughs> it's fucking nut stuff, man, this. It really, really is. Binder two to one, and we mix this with fast base coat thinners. It looks like whale spunk. Um, <clears throat> oh, there we go. Put that back, um, and then we always, if we're blending as well, we always use stand ups tend to yield the best results. I mean, did an RX seven. Couldn't even tell. Well, that Audi A8 we did, you couldn't even tell. Alright. Alright, so. Ping! Oh, that's nice. We're getting a lot of really nice silvers at the moment as well. Oh, there it is. I looking for that. Um, you know, because we shoot can we paint candies and uh, what have you, I'm always on the lookout for a, a decent silver, you know, decent ground coat that we can add stuff to. 
The one that we use at the moment is pretty friggin' hardcore. It's actually a pearl silver, which, um, as you can see, as you saw by the bike, is absolutely fucking incredible. This is nice as well. There's no pearls in this by the looks of it. No, no pearl in that, just a really, really nice pearl content <clears throat> from Spray Guns again. Okay. Messy bastard. We are, uh, that's nice, that. that's a nice silver. We always order more than what we actually need because the last thing you want to do is run out. Okay, so now we grab, <coughs> excuse me, now this is a proper base coat thinners as well, we don't use universal stuff, proper fucking base coat, dun, 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 dun. and I over reduce this by about 20-ish percent, uh, do pretty much the same with the binder as well to be fair, because those little SRIs from Devilbus are just phenomenal at paint transfer and efficiency and when they say they're a one they're a one not a 1.4 mm-hmm you have to google that right so we'll get this mixed up and we'll get in the booth so we've got it all mixed up the binder uh, for the microphone and I'm wearing this mask so you can hear me better. Don't need to wear my air fed, not really. So let's see what we get done. So, two. And you can see that's where we're going to put our base coat. So these SROs are fucking amazing. Absolutely love them. so and then we'll let that flash off um, and then what we do you see we go back in with our binder coat and then back with the base yep. <coughs> don't expect to cover either in like one coat do you know what I mean you're blending so let's go again so, out we go
I'm going to step back and get the other gun. <laughs> okay. Back again. Just set out a little bit further now. Alright, like so. And a front bumper. Okay, so what I was saying, if you couldn't hear me, was when you blend like that, you, I know this stuff covers in two coats, but you're trying to blend out into existing paint. So you're probably going to be around three or four coats. Um, what you end up doing is you take what's left in the pot after your second coat, you bring it back and you start diluting it. Um, and as you just saw, flick away from you, blend it out. And that's what you got and that was about four coats give or takes so two main coats and then the third and fourth we are blending out so the guns did it perfectly so we're going to let this flash off now about half an hour or so go in there wipe everything down <laughs> and then it's going to be time to start that clear coat uh, that we're blending it's going to be fun like so and then i'll grab the blending agent and i'll just do the ends here
seems to have worked with fucking tree. Check that shit out. Booth. So you can see there's a bit of a dry edge there, right? But that's the blending agent, okay? That's not the clear because don't forget we cleared like all around here and around here. This is blending agent. So let's get some, uh, let's hit it with some 2000. Let's do 2000. Let's have a look. I always keep plenty of these in. Right, so that's. Turn that shit off. Now, when I'm doing the 2000 grit, I like to use a normal DA. It just cuts so much quicker and so much better. I've got. When I'm doing 3000, 1500, stuff like that, I have got my marker, colour sanding DA. All right, let's get set up. Okay, pressure bottle. Put everything down. Right, so. <laughs> Look at that, gone. Yep. There we are. <coughs> Excuse me, this would not focus this morning. There we go. Gone. That is brilliant stuff. See? Gone. Wow. I know people have been doing this for fucking years, but you know I don't like to kind of just, I don't like blending clear. Because sometimes if you're scuffing an area down, say, you know, a lot of people, you know, a thousand grit and whatnot, you're taking the clear out. So you're half in the UV absorbency, you're half in whatever in the area you're blending into. But this, we just uh, use the blending scuff pads from 3M. So I suppose you could do a 3000 grit, you could do a 2000 grit to your blending area. That would work, but it's very, very strong stuff. So I reckon we can get this buffed up and we're gonna be good to go. Right, so I've let the 3000 dry. And as you can see, there is no fucking blending marks. So I'm going to hit it with a little bit, of, oh, a little bit of three, just to ease the whole buffing. So we'll go with three. And this is my marker, color from the A now. really fucking really nice and the 3000s as well when they start turning black is when you've got to replace them they actually get better the more you use them so there we go ladies and gentlemen look at that can't even fucking tell right i'm gonna get some of my quartz Red compound on my little mini buffer because I don't need to use the big one on this. Right, bum 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 bum. Let's dry it off a bit. There we go. Okay, that's really good stuff, man. Okay, okay. Oh. 
dodgy fucking dodgy fitting. Lovely. Okay. Oh. Bit of the old uh, rad quartz. Love this stuff. There you go. And on silver, if there was any mis like imperfections or anything, you would fucking see it. Especially in this light. Brilliant. So the quartz blender, big thumbs up. There we go. I didn't know how to use this stuff. There wasn't really any instructions. There was I couldn't find fuck all online. Um, and I thought, well, I need to learn this. So why not share it with you guys? To summarize, I'd probably do the same. So if I was gonna do this again, I would do the same as what I was doing with the paint. So clear coat my first area, not use the blender. Clear coat slightly further out again, and then use the blender around the edges. I think that's how I would do it next time because that blending agent is strong shit i don't think you have to worry about the overspray and i used it neat so i enjoyed that you know it's only because we're doing a lot you know like i said for the you know honda and that are coming to us with, with, with projects with stuff like this and it's not feasible shall we say to be clear coating whole panels and considering that you've only got to really scuff up the area you're blending into you're not losing anything from the existing clear coat, which I think is amazing. The quart blending agent is really simple to use, really easy to use. You pour it in your gun, <clears throat> excuse me, and you just, like you saw before, spray from a distance and just let it melt into place. And there's the front bumper. I've got to go and do the door on the other side, but it's as easy as that. So I'm, I'm super stoked now. You know, I really am. What we're gonna do is if we have more stuff like this turn up, and I've got to learn because obviously, you know, I don't do I don't do stuff like this. You know, this is I, you know, candy flakes, pearls, custom work. That's easy. That's that's no different to me. I mean, even the blending, I had to learn myself. I think this is like the sixth or seventh blending job I've ever done. And I went straight to the old school of you saw. You know, what I mean, we take it, we thin it down. We take it, we thin it down. We lay the binder so the metallics lay nice and smooth. But I had to learn that myself because there wasn't anything I could really find that was doing it you know to the standard i wanted so if i get any more stuff in that i require i've got to learn or i've got to teach myself or whatever then let's do a video let's learn it together because you guys there's probably guys out there that are thinking the same thing as i am i can't do that i can't do this well you fucking can because we did this today in a day we learned this shit in a day and now you guys can go and do it so fuck them people say you can't do shit I hope you enjoyed this because I enjoyed making this video. I had a lot of fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the usual palaver. And go out there and give it a fucking go.